The New Hampshire House is back in the historic chambers it has called home since 1819 after taking its legislative show on the road due to the pandemic. This is the people's house. This is where we should have been. We've been gone for two years. The last time the House convened in this chamber was March 2020. Even then, when Democrats were in the majority, some of them questioned gathering in Reps Hall as COVID-19 was spreading. It's very worrisome, to be honest with you. Uh, a lot of us are of my age with, you know, things like emphysema. And Speaking to us today, State Rep Janice Schmidt says she came down with COVID-like symptoms right after that March 2020 session. I had it and it was awful and people are in the hospital still and they're still dying from it. So I wish there was a better option. I really do. We could have spent these last two years voting, all of us, not just the people who felt safe. Several immunocompromised state reps suing for remote participation in session days to protect their health had requested an expedited ruling from the court before today. They didn't get it. We're very disappointed. I mean, it's been pending for a year. Uh, I think it's obvious that it's an important issue. But I, I have to say that even going beyond the issue of the pandemic, I think that the issue that's really on the table here is whether as a legislature we should be accommodating disabled people. Even with the partisan divide, today had the feel of a homecoming. And many reps believe those divisions and perhaps the decorum will improve in this setting. We're accountable to the public. Now they're up there looking over us making sure that we're uh, acting the way we should be acting. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.